So there you have it, October 9, 2021. Uh, regretfully, I have to update a little bit on German politic. Brainwash basically in late stages, uh, which appears to me to have more and more British um, form. It, it looked more and more like a Buckingham Palace 1999, uh, the final show which they signed for a Buckingham Palace West. Let me explain. On a complaint I have written, I describe absolutely everything about what exactly happened since 1995. Who, how, clearly I explain European and American, therefore Western politics, European Union, Western European, was completely coordinated through the Germany, so the Germany, all the European states, Western states followed German example, which completely was dominated by the British, by the Buckingham Palace, with having Americans uh, providing a background, a support, also for Buckingham Palace. So, completely I explain what exactly happened, how it all happened, and what exactly happened in 1999, 1999 during, I wouldn't even call this a Serbian capitulation, uh, for many reasons, upon NATO bombing of Serbia in 1999, foremost because it was a Russia that signed a so-called truce. This was not a truce, this was just a agreement between West and East. The Serbs observed from the distance. See, are greatly overwhelmed by NATO without anything to match NATO. Uh, Russians acknowledged and have Serbs stand on the side. Uh, they acknowledge capitulation. Uh, in 1999, however, this capitulation, just as I explained here on my complaint, clearly resulted in, also was based upon previous ethnic cleansing, we, in which West already engaged on behalf of Serbs foremost against a Muslim minority in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but also against Croats, by simply awarding work contracts to the Serbs, therefore even having a settlements, a villages, cities, entire cities, subjected to economic genocide, uh, awarding contracts to Serbian companies rather than Muslim, uh, and have this way driven the Muslim population into a search for work all over the Europe. Mosques were replaced Literally, this started already in 95, in 96, in 97, 98, in Bosnia, where Americans came. Literally were replaced even by interjecting inside uh, different faiths, Yehovah, 
uh, not that those would present like a great portion of the population but if beside Jehovah you're talking about the atheists you're talking about um, I don't know what kind of uh, entire palette of uh, Western religious uh, views all of a sudden blended into world of you know into a contrast between Orthodox Russian Orthodox actually Serbian Orthodox and Muslim faiths and would do so so the West would do so so they would they would start to portray Serbia like a democratic like acceptable vision for the sake of the view from the West so they would so the Serbia would gain sympathy you know seeing people known figures from the West coming to Serbian towns uh, it would be enough they would visit some kind of whatever uh, city where there will be some different church or whatever otherwise totally unacceptable for the Serbs but under this circumstances it became a tool social engineering so the news would go around as if this is a tolerant society and on the other hand you have Bosnian Muslims basically labeled as something in line with the Al Qaeda Muslim Iraq you know so you're talking about entire warfare like psychological mainstream media news warfare crusade basically also against this little tiny nation here in Balkans and next to them also war on Croatia as well as my little country Slovenia this is the shit that Buckingham Palace produced and let me tell you something all through impossible to prove prior to this complaint this became completely factual that Buckingham Palace Prince Charles Prince Andrew and others for that matter acted in a manner indifferent from war criminals trialed in Hague such as Slobodan Milosevic Karadzic and others that committed most serious offenses against humanity and it's also because of this complaint that Great Britain took their out now for Brexit they got themselves Brexit already option reserved many years ahead it was already seated right there in case this complaint would go through now you have an island no longer part of the European Union and you have a complaint like this that proves beyond any doubt who the people inside of the Buckingham Palace are is disregarding this complaint is completely disregarding mainstream media brainwash such as how Vladimir Putin got people killed upon their arrival to Britain this is a nonsense you're talking about poisoning you're talking about uh, all kinds of stuff they he didn't have to bother with it because he had remembered this he had cousins of Romanov sitting inside of the Buckingham Palace right that's what listen to me that's what Windsor's Battenbergers claimed me knowing that Romanov who came here they got him from wherever they got him from in 97 98 he was late and it was like a vagabond like you would grab somebody from I don't know from a toilet or something like that then you would send him to Rome and then he would start working his way up there having next to him 
Karadjordjevic family. These are a people, a Serbian family, that uh, regarded themselves as kings of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenians' kingdom. They were the ones, just like this vagabond, They extended him like a closer hand, like a closer support. So you had this link between Windsor's, Battenberger's, Buckingham Palace, therefore, and this Kara Georgievich Serbs. And somebody, a distant, in reality, God knows how distant cousin or Romanov, that, however, Russian mafia is needed for the Russian mafia, is needed for Vladimir Putin, because it's a Vladimir Putin that wants the cheer. He wants to be become a Tsar, a Russian Tsar, basically. That's what the Vladimir Putin wants. They have a gangster basically using some kind of cousin of Romanov, so Romanov. Nobody knows this thing. It could be this guy is not even Romanov, and they gave him the name Romanov. Who the hell knows? So you have these people now sitting inside of the Buckingham Palace claiming that their cousin is now, this is, they have a cousin, they have a relatives in Russia uh, brainwashing through the mainstream media lying and financially supporting greatly. I did not spoke about how the Vladimir Putin assassinations started to take place all over Slovenia, rage lunacy killings for Andrew, for Charles to observe and eventually provide, as was told, the money to the Russian mafia, to the Vladimir Putin, because he was so nervous about this stuff. This is stuff I did not even spoke about yet. And they did, they provide the financial the background for the Putin and so on and so forth. We travel to the Switzerland and that kind of stuff. And at the same time, if you want me to be a little bit more clear, or I was really clear already, you have cousins of Windsor's, right? Of Battenberger's. Cousins of uh, those that are in the other side, inside of the Buckingham Palace. Now, in Moscow. Now, isn't that, that so? If you look at that, that's basically is what we are talking about in this case. That's, ex that's precisely what we are talking about. These people provided along Americans, which served as a support, as a ground support, what do you want to call these logistics or whatever, and Germans. A totally new politic also on Balkans. It wasn't only against... Ukraine that went on. It was also on the Balkans for the sake of 1999 capitulation. In a parenthesis, capitulation. You understand? That's how that happened. So because of this beautiful, beautiful stuff they have seen, it can be done. And it was done in Bosnia. Basically, ethnic cleansing. <laughs> that was actually parallel to the war, but Americans already were so involved in this stuff. West was already so involved against this Muslim minority. It's, it's amazing. You see a Muslim city just turn into a completely Serbian. Uh, having people run all over the Europe looking for the job, basically. And at the same time, you would have a Serbian company next door growing, fucking exploding with more and more houses Serbian houses populating the area. You remember, guys? I'm just here to remind you basically what you have done and how that 99 agreement echoes today against us all over the Europe. What the consequences of this, what Angela Merkel actually anticipated because they knew very well, they knew very well Angela Merkel, maestro that was involved in 99, and said, I did not want to have anything to do with Charles in Buckingham Palace anymore in 96. After what was done to me in 96, just read the complaint. 
this is the worst fucking people you can come across because this is nothing humane about these people we serve them like a, I feel like a little trains they jump on like a shortcuts and they get to the next destination and they fuck you up and they jump again on an ex victim like a fleas basically blood suckers just jumping from one to another and leaving nothing but death and devastation behind that's what I think about the people I'm talking about today. Angela Merkel somehow convinced me to go on with it, to suffer a little bit more under this MK Ultra. It thanked me for help and I don't know what. But this shit was more and more obvious that it wasn't only that Germans under whom other monarchies and states united followed through did not provide along the United States of America support for British monarchy only it was much much more than that it was a boost budget from the German side actually next to Buckingham Palace for Russian Mafia to expand all over the Russia and that resulted even in a war then against Ukraine this shit was no longer only against Bosnia and Croatia this shit now expanded into the full waged full scale war in Donetsk Crimea was just stolen like this Crimea, where we would go for negotiations since 95. Crimea, where Charles, who loved Crimea so much, guaranteed, sworn on how, despite Vladimir Putin sightseeing, uh, Lavrov, Medvedev, all these politicians disregarding locals like shit like nobody's basically uh, regarding them as uh, everything like self-evident they are Russians have in the end fooled in their faces when he guaranteed them that what Russians already told them in the face is going to become part of Russia will never ever happen so this video basically just so that you can see what exactly number one Angela Merkel anticipated me I would see the situation as because they brainwashed me heavily Germans brainwashed me heavily on how I have to lobby for the Germans as uh, well you know uh, it was the British side that that decided and so on uh, something I missed a little earlier I did not finish you know I think actually this was very very coordinated between the Berlin and between London I think actually that this was especially when I considered that Prince William went to Germany on a special training on how to fuck, con, lie, mislead, cheat, steal, kill from behind, backstab, therefore, course that lasted there for several months. I, I this is what year was this? Uh, maybe even 2005. Actually, when I think about all this stuff, this was not so much everything that was a Buckingham Palace. So what I'm trying to accent, Angela Merkel lied to me in 96 that it's the Buckingham Palace that decides about everything. No, I don't think so. I think it, Germany had a lot to do with it. However, German neo-nazi politic from the world war ii which did not go through could not take such a clear fascist neo-nazi stand 
as British have taken, and they did, instead of Germany, in respect to imperialistic colonial, not neo-Nazi, not fascist, just imperialistic colonial, if that's not bad, agenda. Yeah, they would too do this, but they couldn't because of the World War II. So it was more convenient to say, uh, well, we have to follow through the Britain. I want to clarify these issues. Um, this video today, folks, because I was told that if I'm going to be arriving this is by the Germans. If I'm going to be writing bad news, and also about the Buckingham Palace, of course, you kind of write about the Buckingham Palace and this and that, then everything that your views present, we're going to go against. We're going to go against. So, yeah, uh, knowing the stages of this MK Ultra very well, better than any book, Frau Merkel, Mr. Andrew, Prince Charles, Elizabeth, entire wealth, entire economy they built, the British state did, and so did German. They did build literally through creating a conflict with me toward other nations under pretense that I was the one who did all this stuff. Just basically, these people destroyed me completely 27 years. 27 years of hiding all the conflicts, all the shit these people profited from, literally behind myself, making me look bad and taking advantage of every situation, but actually creating me bad so they could take advantage, profit from within, whatever they possibly could globally. now position me finally into a place and time according to my new site where it is pointed out everything about the buckingham palace later it is not a news these people would profit really from uh, i actually pointed out even that my spine had to be broken so that I would never get to the trail of Novomesta Sevnica. That's basically Novomesta where I am and Sevnica where Melania Trump is hiking trail. They would not want because it's too much revealing. This is the hiking trail they would take a million times since 1995. Knowing about the complaint that I'm gonna jump on Charles and I would recognize the assassin through involvement of other royals in 1995 that did not appeal anywhere near as murderers as Charles in respect to myself, in respect to my nation. They have designed a really good, smooth scenario about what would appeal to me and to be what, what should be best for us? No, they will not stop. Uh, maybe I'm not decided about yet. I'm gonna name this video as uh, what Merkel, Angela Merkel demanded from me and Ursula von der Leyen. They demanded for me to refer to this video as Germany on a... Uh, um, not rondo, but intersection, uh, one way. Angela Merkel clearly oil purchases, um, therefore a support for American Humvees that were falling from the sky and God knows what the fuck was inside in them, right? Um, they were damaged and as such, they were just left behind um maybe occupied territories with allied forces that 
would have to leave along the equipment when running out of those uh, from invading dangerous Russian Taliban, whatever you want to say, um, Syrian forces. Now, this, I'm just being sarcastic. This is how next to the blueprints in front of your eyes also also next like that it was much better than that stuff that i that went on in front of the people's eyes that they they would simply not react to it was transferred from the west to the russia because the agreement of 99 specified once the east technologically catches west somewhat matches the standard of the people in the West, the agreement of 1999, a neo-Nazi imperial colonial agreement will take full effect. That was the agreement. So the must hardware stuff that came from the West that was transferred, given to the Russia. Russia doesn't have shit. The Russia does not produce jack shit nothing everything you see is the product of the west absolutely everything it's a uh, almost like a copy and paste type of material they gave them a blueprints they actually even delivered them uh homeless everything everything you want tanks leave them behind on those war fields and so on and so on this is this is what this shit is this is what this shit is all about so, it appears to me that this intersection, right? So, this we're talking about Angela Merkel. This was her politic. So, the Germany on the intersection, Germany on the intersection. Yeah, or you want another route, or you want another route. Uh, this is this new dude that's been elected instead of Angela Merkel. This is a lie. This is just a bullshit. This is just a, another Joe Biden. What I'm trying to say, this is just a time purchase. You understand? They're buying time. Joe Biden is Donald Trump, make no mistake. And Donald Trump was a George Bush and George Bush. That was actually Bill Clinton. You can bet on this. Okay, so we have it here. Yeah, they will be they will be providing they will be providing they will be providing they will be providing uh with uh, be, uh, with the possibility of a different uh, of a different politic and so but if we don't get enough support if we don't get enough support you know uh because if we don't get enough support okay what exactly they mean by if we don't get enough support if we don't get enough support well in 99 and the truth ended with this The bombs were falling here until just a few seconds ago and the troops who are running are Albanian troops running from their own positions. They're not fleeing from Serb artillery, they're running away from NATO bombs. Yeah. A uh, portion of this ethnic cleansing from Bosnia uh, that was very appealing for this Serbian truce in 1999 uh, also were a few bombs that settled on even on Albanian side, not in Kosovo, but on Albanian side, uh, some Albanian troops were even killed. The aircraft dropping the bombs are NATO combat jets. 
It's impossible to explain why the Alliance should want to strike these positions. The troops here are defending their frontier against any attack from Serb forces across the border in Kosovo. It's just about a mile away. In all, we counted five waves of attacks. It looks like another highly visible NATO mistake. Yeah, NATO mistake, highly visible. Germans did not approve, according from you know, what I was told. Yeah, listen, I don't believe them shit. I'm sorry, Angela Merkel, but you are something else, really. I was told that this is what Germans did not approve. Uh, I was told the Germans like Bosnia, uh, likes Croatia, likes all this, likes all that, you know, they, they likes it all, and if you will not support, you know, uh, if, uh, I, will, I, will, I will just repeat to you, la, 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 I will just repeat to you, blah, 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 here, here inside of this fucking room, they had me, a fucking Germans had me, they said, hold me like this for the fucking throat. 27 years, 23 years they tortured me inside this torture cell. It's a fucking torture cell, this room. You know what the fuck this is? This is a fucking torture cell. 23 years of torture inside here. They would come to torture here. If you will not, if we will not, you tell you, if, if we will not, we, we, we can't, we, we have to follow, yeah. We have to follow the, uh, the British politic. Uh, this, this we, we don't give. We don't give this out. The British politic. We don't. We we we, we must. We, the British politic must must must. Yeah, this one. Unless unless you give us a support, there will be one chance. There will be one chance. Yeah. One chance is gonna be. One chance is gonna fucking be. This chance here. This is what. I don't know if they are afraid, but certainly the Germans paid a great attention to detail when it comes to this complaint because at least what it would look fantastic on Angela resume would be my the my lobby for the Germans if nothing else it can hurt that's basically what I concluded but this motherfuckers never changed they have a 1940 Hitler plan as the number one I'm gonna tell you straight, running right now through. With my lobbying for the Germany, or my not lobbying for, for the Germany, Vucic, Alexander Vucic, Serbian Chetnik, eventually assisted. That was the fucking craziest thing. You would have Russians and Serbs next to the Germans inside a room torturing you, demanding you, literally what you're gonna say into camera and stuff like this, brainwash you. With this Uzta von der Leyen, uh, the lady is from the European Commission. Oh, this is this is as disgusting as, as anything possibly could be disgusting. But let me let me remind you, I'm American citizen. Fuck you, I am American citizen. If in the United States of America this shit doesn't pass through, you are gonna be so fucked. And you inside of the Buckingham Palace. I am not Slovenian citizen only, so it might have been fun, but if somehow it doesn't go through, I'm gonna be a fucking nightmare. The same like Wiesenthal was for the Nazis. I remember this. So that the German is going, it could be like this, it could be with the Schultz, it's gonna be a socialist, but they brainwash me, remember. If we are going to stand up against the British uh, for you, for your sake, uh, we will have to have a total support on the Balkans, obviously, in the Eastern Europe. So it was, I suppose, anticipated for me that I will uh, 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 and go and lobby again for this fucking Germany. That's what this shit was all about. That's what this this one here. Look, you see this crap? This this shit. This one. This crap. This one. This is the latest one. This shit here. Serbia threat to Balkan security requires coordinated. Hmm. 
Yeah, uh, started to basically war threaten. He started, this was on the September the 30, started to threaten again with the new war on the Balkans. No. Um, insisting that all the Serbs basically that should be united under one flag, that they have the right to be under one flag. Uh, yesterday, however, the news also came out that uh, this was proposition, <laughs> therefore, three weeks ago, that Vucic, Alexander Vucic, this is Chetnik, involved in MK Ultra in very early stages. You see, Serbs mark National Unity Day flying fox flags across the region. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, it worried people. Uh, they demanded uh, Serbian countries. They named as a Serbian country Bosnia, and they named the Serbian country also Croatia. So, that sh they should be unified under one flag. Now, look at this. They named also Croatia. But uh, what is fucked up about the German politic, because I almost swallowed this bait, I almost swallowed this poison. Um, you know, we can't support you unless we have something we can last on, unless we have something we can use to support also. Uh, of course, there's no way uh, somebody can uh, fight for something and get nothing in return. Yeah, I should fucking know something about that, Angela Merkel, don't you think so? I should know something about this stuff. Based on what you have done to me, I probably should know. Today, Serbs reject Bosnian military budget um, military everything they don't want they want separate everything they want separate yeah clearly that this kind of um, they don't want to have uh, this is a um, uh, this is a uh, uh, Notorious Milorad Dodik, this is one of the most prominent Chetniks in Bosnia on a stage. That's interesting. That's a, um, he, they basically demand, uh, like you would basically call for another war or something like that. They want their own military, judiciary, tax system. Uh, they are basically cutting apart multinational countries such as Bosnia, where the Croats are Serbs, uh, Muslims, no, Serbs say no, we want our own, and uh, like I said, this goes back to this shit here. This is more than just that they would want uh, their own military, they want to be united under one flag. You know what it means, united? under one fla uh, flag united under one flag that means war right that's what you want to do you want you want war so they're piling up weapons they're preparing stuff for the war and the germany all they would want after the fuck up they committed themselves in ukraine against the ukraine war against the donetsk they provided the financial support through purchases, oil and gas purchases from Russia. So they financed the war, Russian war against Ukraine. They want me to lobby for the Germany, basically for the Balkan war. Basically for the war in Balkans. I mean, this, this is fucking rotten. Then I don't know what it is. I'm going to tell Angela Merkel that with the Olaf Scholz, she can stick himself one in her ass this guy will never get any kind of support from me nor german politic uh it's a neo-nazi 
garbage state supported at large by the London. Uh, I have written here it was Charles that was the head of all this, that it was Charles that was running this whole thing. And the Germany provided, and other European countries through the Germany provided support for Charles uh, next to United States of America. No, actually, I think it was Charles that did just whatever Angela Merkel told him to do. Um, I, this isn't about the cooperation between the Germany and Russia. This is about, huh, this is about something completely different. This is about a colonialism. This is about imperialism. Uh, this is about, just as I stated, the case is going to be with a Taiwan. Um, after China gets Taiwan and it appears that British ships and what everything had to Taiwan to rescue, to help Taiwan, uh, once they get Taiwan also, uh, then on the full stage pact, the neo-Nazi 1999 pact is going to be fulfilled. And so what we see at the moment, we see Joe Biden, temporary Mr. Temporary, I call him Mr. Temporary, a sleepy Joe. And we also see the same kind of symptom the same kind of disease on the German side, Mr. Temporary Olaf Scholz, basically. So this is why this video, I just want to be really, really clear about what exactly goes on because these people call for war. This is, I would not mistaken under any circumstances, the war of 2015, which Serbia launched on Croatia. Uh, by literally, just, uh, excuse me, this was not a Serbia that would launch the war on Croatia. It was a Germany that launched war on Croatia in, uh, 19, uh, in, in 2015. When Hungarians and Serbs would direct all the refugees no, to no other European Union country other than they would round them up and steer them, direct them straight into Croatia to cause financial uproar, economical, social economical uproar, basically. And once those tried to uh, repatriate them back to Serbia, um, Serbian police got involved in it. Croats attempted to block the borders, but it was a European Commission that attacked literally Croatia. It was, well, Ursula von der Leyen that intervened immediately by actually proving a non-European Union state. Now, this is fucking insane. By proving a non-European Union state, Serbia, right And European Union state Croatia is wrong in this case, awarding Serbia with additional financial contracts, business awards, uh, awarding them with the business contracts, and so on and so forth. So we have a bullshit politic for which I call Croatia, Bosnia, Ukraine, and all others to respond with a thumbs down. This is a regular neo-Nazi colonial London shit politic. That's what we have going on. And we have the shit going on in place, in fact, since 1999. That's all I wanted to say for this video. Trust me, nobody knows better than I do. The war next to Croatia, Bosnia, was launched parallel also against Slovenia. A British murdered in Slovenia, British associated with the Slovenian 
who went behind their backs and gave the information straight to the Russians so they could kill British incited literally in killing of Slovenian people so the Russian mafia Vladimir Putin so they could use not only myself as an excuse but they could use the deaths of Slovenian people which Slovenian Udba such as Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahor, Dernoshek, Janus Dernoshek, these are Udba people, Danilo Turk have committed willingly against Slovenian people with idea to reinstitute a greater Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. So therefore, they demanded, Prince Andrew, Prince Charles demanded for Slovenian people to be murdered so he could apologize this to the British authorities, to the British Parliament that is necessary to finance, to attribute financially to the Russian Mafia. British royals told me, what did you thaw? They told me, it's our job. It's our job to reinstitute monarchies whenever they possibly could be reinstituted. It's our job. This is what we do. We are monarchs. So basically, they said to me, what did you expect? What do you, what do you expect? We're monarchs. This is our job. This is what, basically, this is what we do. We provide support. They call this a support. In late stages, when I was in Rome in 2015, probably, not 17, maybe even in 2017, but I think it was 15, Prince Harry told me he provides the support. I was on a visit to Romanov. We provide the support. What did you expect? It's our job to provide support for the monarchs and also to open ways back to monarchy. Well, the Russian monarchy is a bad fucking idea for the Russian people foremost. It's not about really Stalin or Lenin. Lenin, by the way, they hate him. <laughs> um, it's like uh, Satan fierce cross, something like this. That's about relationship between Buckingham Palace members and uh, Lenin. Uh, but that's because Lenin returned to the Russian people faces of the human beings. He returned in uh, a face of humanity, I should say. He gave them a possibility of a republic. Uh, therefore, equal them with ability to participate as a human beings, as countries in the West, therefore uh, a chance for republic. Now, this guy was a communist, a little bit utopian, he really was, you must, one must admit that. Uh, and if it wasn't for Stalin, that would go into complete extreme, uh, not so much in respect to communism, but more in respect to a terror. It participated large in killings and all kinds of stuff like this. Who knows? Maybe Russia would become a prosperous, even maybe intellectually wise, uh, a society. But when you are word society, that is like, hmm, how can I prop to for me to properly express myself? You know, Serbia was. Half a millennium, 500 years was occupied by the Turkish Empire. The people were not allowed to go to the school. They were fucking illiterate, man. Half of the people was illiterate after the Second War. They were, they were getting their shit together. Um, Russia, um, to tell you the truth, it wasn't biggie. A huge country with a lot of people, but not much came out of that. Now, if you are worth the country with imperial title, and that country is not ranked like intellectual, active, superior country, like they do a lot of, they pay fucking money like you wouldn't believe on education in the West. That's academic society they refer to one also as. Um, 
if it's a semi-retarded country with a with a with an imperial with a tsar it becomes like a fucking drug addict dependent on marijuana or i don't know lsd or some shit like this uh it it, it becomes a fucking rack so this isn't about helping to establish the monarchy or something like this is about helping fuck Russia up and through the Russia through the drug addict fuck also other all other Eastern European countries as well that are somewhat related to the Russia that's actually what this is yeah you can have kings royalty is you can profit from within if the society is really academic if it's a republic well developed republic you can as a top notch you can use even a royalty but it's exactly a counter effect when you are nothing other than a fucking follower when your society like excuse me like a semi-retarded and you don't actually have nothing you can use that's that you can offer as an option as a trait in this case only colonial politic from whom we already know who the fuck is going to profit from that that can actually be a fucking wreck uh, uh, regardless of it mafia never is a good idea this is about the worst idea worst idea possible buckingham palace came to idea to finance welfare of russian mafia because the state representatives the russia otherwise possibly could have because i'm not saying that any one of these guys ever was any kind of people's representative you know you know what i'm saying therefore the people that give a view state people the representative give view as whole of the nation they rather than negotiate through the smaller circle of the people Therefore, this smaller circle of the people is important to empower enough so that they can control these masses, these goats. Uh, and that's basically how you get your business done. Other than that, <laughs> it's like Windsor's Battenberger told me Romanov's cousins and shit like this. This is fucking laughable. They just need to get the job done. All right? So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching. Till next time.